So this is my 100 gallon trough that I am going to convert into a worm bin. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gravel into the bottom of this um, of this tank. That way, uh, the worms kind of have some place to crawl to if uh, if there's too much liquid in the bottom. Um, I also built a screen or a frame uh, out of two by threes and I uh, cut some grooves into the bottom of it. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to put gravel onto the bottom of the tank. I'm going to put this screen on top of the uh, uh, you know on the bottom of the of the tank as well and then I also made this PVC little frame here just to provide extra air so some things I'll be adding to the uh, to the bin later on I've got some cardboard um, egg cartons some uh, rolls of cardboard from uh, wrapping paper stuff like that I'm also going to use some of this peat moss and I found some of this coke coke wire chip brick uh, I found um, this package for eight dollars at a local gardening store I'll also put some compost in there as well so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on this uh, extra deck that I have fortunately it's a few feet off the ground and I'll put a couple of pieces of wood back here to uh, just some scrap pieces of wood to prop up the barrel so that it sits at an angle so it will drain easier. So the purpose of the screen and the gravel, the gravel is to uh, keep the worms from drowning, basically giving them something to climb on if they fall below the screen and uh, something that they can use to climb back up into the, the, the area where I want them and uh, the other reason for the gravel is to keep the drain from getting clogged so I want to put a pile of gravel uh, just around this drain opening right here actually I had to scoot some of the gravel away from the drain because I need to put in this little PVC frame in the place and yeah. put those there so I screwed my galvanized steel nipple and my uh, PVC uh, ball valve in there Okay, almost time. It's moving day for the worms. So I'm gonna resaturate this bin. It's been a while. It's been out here for a while, so I want to make sure it's moist at least. Okay, water's coming out the drain. I think my base is saturated enough. Okay, it's moving day for my worms, and the worms will do it just fine. As you'll be able to see. They're all, you know, they're pretty, pretty happy. Okay, <clears throat> I've taken them out of their old uh, container, where they were pretty happy, and I put them into this... 100 gallon trough where hopefully they'll be even happier so I'm going to put a little peat moss on top of there and wet it down a little bit and put some newspaper on top of it and then I'll feed them later um, this weekend <laughs> 